Hi Vikes, Mr. Kelly here. To keep myself busy, I've been trying to cook new recipes and try new foods. This morning, I decided to cook shashushka. To make this dish, I first had to make a spicy tomato sauce. Then, I poached eggs in that sauce. The last step was to broil it for a minute or so. It's great to eat, especially with crunchy bread. I'd never had this before and it was delicious. The next time, I'll just make sure the eggs are a little more runny. Hi! Uh, so while I've been home, um, I would like to say I've been filling my time with lots of exciting projects, but basically I've been keeping really busy just trying to keep up with the pace of everyday life. So planning, um, enrichment activities, and figuring out all the e-learning stuff, um, and then just like cooking, cleaning, taking care of my son and dog who's sleeping over there. Um, so that's really it. So here's a little bit of what I've been doing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Hi Triton, miss you all and hope you're all staying safe and finding ways to have fun. My kids are keeping me young and can't wait to see you all again. Bye! Hey everybody, one of the ways I'm staying active during this time of isolation is I'm working on my golf game. I've set a few buckets up um, about 10 yards in front of me and I'm pitching the ball and trying to get it either in the bucket or as close to it as I can. You can see I have a mat on the grass so that I don't take too many divots and end up with no grass in my yard. where I live, you can see Cranes Beach and Ipswich and the Rowley Shores and Plum Island. So it's kind of a neat thing. Um, so I hope everybody's taking good care of themselves. See you soon, I hope. Hello friends, welcome to Poem Time. Good afternoon and welcome to Stories with Stacy. Good afternoon. And welcome back to story time with Stacy. Walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee haw! He was a spunky, hanky, panky, cranky, stinky, dinky, link, lanky, honky, tonky, willy, wonky, donkey. It's called Hiccopotamus. It's about a hippo, I don't know if you can see this, that gets the hiccups. I'm so scared. Please do not turn the page, page. Please, please, please. Well, look at that. This is the end of the book. Hey guys, thought I'd share with you what I'm doing to stay active and engaged over this bleak time of isolation. So in my family, my kids are very into ballet during normal times. And uh, we got them this ballet bar to help them practice when they're not in class such as now. No class is going on, but I'm the one using it instead. So as you can see, I'm hardly a professional dancer or a dancer by any stretch. But what's great about this forced hiatus for all of us, including professional dancers, is anyone can practice 
ballet or any sort of activity in the privacy of their own home by watching various Instagram videos. Need help, have questions, anything, or just want to talk to somebody that doesn't live in your house because you're losing your mind, uh, shoot me an email because I'm on my computer all day, every day. Otherwise, try to have fun, definitely stay safe, and see you May 4th. Hi to everyone. Special hello to the Croto and Mowbray advisory students. We miss you. Hope you're doing well. Make us proud. So, what am I doing to keep busy? Well, when I wake up, I do my treadmill. Gotta get those 30,000 steps a day in. Then, I set up my office at the kitchen table and I talk to Miss Croto, Miss Bates, the IAs. Anyone need me PD? Here you go. We're all set. So that's what I do. Lunchtime, I take a jolly walk with my daughter. We keep a safe social distance. Truth be told, I think she holds her breath when she's near me. A little hurtful. It's okay. Then, when work is done, hey, great time to reread an old series of books. Or, I don't have, I don't have pets like maybe some of you do, so I planted some bulbs. Here's hoping that they'll turn into some beautiful stargazer lilies that smell so heavenly. Then what else? Well, we're going to do a Zoom chat very soon with my extended family. Okay, everyone. Nice chatting. Stay safe. Bye-bye now. Hey, Triton, what's going on? Listen, we're uh, trying to do a couple videos here to show you guys you know, some ideas uh, of things that we may be doing to uh, occupy the time in the next couple of weeks. Keep busy. Make sure we're getting out of the house, away from the video games. So uh, today we're just going to do a little bit of uh, catching exercises here with uh, young Joseph. <laughs> and what we're working on is just him trying to stop this soft this baseball. There you go, buddy. We don't know, you know, what's going on with this season yet, but uh, I just encourage all of our athletes out there to make sure that if you guys are doing a spring sport, whatever you're doing, get outside and practice the skill. Every day, get outside and practice a skill, whatever it is. Hey Vikings, it's Mr. Albert. I hope everyone is doing well and that your families are safe. Uh, my family and I have been spending a lot of time at home, just playing board games, doing some artwork, playing basketball, and just trying to be safe. I hope everyone is safe and hope to see you soon. Hi everyone, it's Ms. Hartzell. Hope everyone is having a good Corona break. You probably won't be surprised to find out that during my Corona break, I have been knitting. I've finished one thing so far. It is this scarf. And right now, I have a visitor. You say hi. Hi. What has mommy been doing while she's been home? Yes, <laughs> Have I made stuff? Yes. And right now, I am making, I had actually before we went on You're the break. You're making mittens. No, what is this? It looks like a mitten. No, it's a? Glove. No. What? We're, what would you do with this? Put on my feet. Yeah, do you put gloves on your feet? No. No. I, I saw you, this does the same thing on your hand. Yeah. So anyways, I'm working on this. These are double pointed needles. And this is how you make a sock with no seams in it. So when I finish it, it'll be complete. And Nothing what else are to do. seams? Seams are like this on your shirt, right? Where they sew it together. Oh. Yeah, but I don't need to sew it together. So that's what I've been up to. 
Hope everyone is doing well and staying healthy. Been busy walking our pups in the woods and trying to get some fresh air. Hey everybody. Um, well, aside from doing my usual science thing and drinking a ton of coffee and reading a bunch of science articles, especially on the new coronavirus and how it invades cells, I have been taking the opportunity to watch a bunch of movies because everybody in my class knows how much I love films, so that's been taking up a good chunk of my time, as well as getting back to a few of my favorite books, such as my Lord of the Rings, which I'm pretty sure these copies are older than all of you, and a few of my other favorites, Linus Pauling, Nikola Tesla, so books and movies, a bunch of caffeine, pretty much the usual. Uh, I hope this finds all of you and your families doing well, and I uh, hope I'll see you guys soon. I'm staying busy at home making medical masks. So we start with 100% um, cotton cloth, and it's going to be nine by seven. And we're gonna start on the long side. When I get to a corner, I'm going to add some elastic. Seven inches. And then we need another piece of elastic for the other side. It's important to make sure that your fabric is um, inside out. So the pattern is on the inside and we're gonna flip it in a second. So it's gonna have a little bit of an opening here so we can turn it inside out. But instead of doing that, when you do it, it's going to look like this. Then you're going to take some pins and pin it like this. And then we're going to go all the way around sewing it and making sure that we close that little hole. Go around twice. And then it turns out something like this. <laughs>